Hello and welcome to this tutorial on how to manually extract maps from the cache folder in the original Unreal Tournament. Sometimes, after playing a map online, you may want to play it offline, alone, to explore the map and get familiar with it. Every map you play online is stored in the Unreal Tournament cache folder, and you can extract the map in order to play it offline. To do that, find your Unreal Tournament folder and open the cache folder. Scroll down to the cache ini file and open it with Notepad. Anything ending with the extension UNR is a map. UTX files are textures. UAX files are sounds. UMX files are music. And U files are system files. But U files are not enough to get game types or mods working, so it is rarely useful to extract them. I will use the search option to find UNR files. I will extract three different map types. First I will take Illhaven 107. Copy the large code or file name on the left side of the equal to symbol. Search for this file name in your cache folder. Copy it into another folder. Then copy the map name from the cache ini and rename the file to the map name, including the extension type. This map does not have a certain game type tag, like Deathmatch or Capture the Flag, since the map is a part of a single or multiplayer campaign. To play campaigns, you need the old school mod. I already have it installed, but if you don't have it, you can play it in other game types, by giving the map a game type tag. I will make a copy of the map and give it a Deathmatch DM game type tag. While I'm at it, I will extract a Monster Hunt map and a Capture the Flag map. And now move the new maps to your Unreal Tournament map folder. Now I can launch the Illhaven 107 map through the Deathmatch game type with zero bots and play around with mutators and have the translocator equipped. Did you know if you have a one-handed weapon equipped, you can pick up light objects? And this next trick, I saw someone do in a video in an Unreal Tournament Facebook group. If you play on a server with a no self-damage mutator on, you can place yourself on top of a light, non-destructible item and crouch. Then you can do an extremely high weapon jump. When you run the map, it will tell you if something is missing. If it is a sound or texture file, the map won't load at all. It just give you the name of the missing file, which you will have to extract from the cache folder. Or, as in this case, it will tell you the name of the next map of the campaign. When I play this map by itself, I don't have the translator, which you need for the story. So if you want the genuine experience the map has to offer, you will need to download the old school mod and look for other maps of the campaign. If you search for Illhaven on Unreal Archive, you will find this map pack. But be aware, there are some files missing, but you can find them all in the archive in other map packs. Now I will try the Monster Hunt map, but I don't have the Monster Hunt game type installed, so I will have to download it. I will take the latest release. Since I only want to try this one map, I will just copy the Monster Hunt int file 
to my system folder. That is enough to make it work, and by doing that I will not encounter any mismatch errors when I play Monster Hunt online. Now you can play the Monster Hunt map offline. Let's see if the capsule flag map work. This is a map with X miracles and music that I have not installed or extracted. And as you see, it worked without I had to do anything. That's it. Now you know how to extract maps from your cache folder. Please leave a like and subscribe if you would like more Unreal Tournament videos. Have fun!